Look, the public isn't stupid. They know zero accountability when they see it. Biden's cabinet members shouldn't have more job security than, say, a college basketball coach. If a coach, all he does is lose, then he blames others. He's canned, right? And everyone from Mayorkas to Milley should have been let go long ago. But in Biden land, the fact that you're getting poorer, that America is getting weaker, that's just part of the necessary transition. You may not be able to fill your tank, but you should be filled with pride over all the first that this administration has delivered. The first female Coast Guard commandant. That was Fox News host Laura Ingram proving once again that no matter how loud Republicans are, they still don't understand how the economy works. Ingram and Republicans are on the attack to convince Americans that the economy is worse than ever before. There's just one problem. That isn't actually true. Ingram is repeating a line you'll be hearing a lot from Republicans over the next few months. The bogus claim that Joe Biden is making you poorer. In fact, the opposite is true. Consumer demand is reaching record levels. That's because most Americans either got a raise or found a better job during the pandemic. Those Americans are so eager to spend their extra cash that manufacturers simply can't keep up with demand. And with more open positions than available workers, wages for the average American are rising for the first time in years. But it's understandable that Laura Ingram doesn't appreciate the value of a dollar. She's almost never had to worry about paying her bills. Last month, Ingram admitted in a tweet that she had allowed her 73-year-old mother, who was still working as a waitress at the time, to pay her student loan debt, even after Ingram graduated law school and landed a cushy job clerking for Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. So Ingram may not have the best handle on what it's like to work a real job. And Ingram wasn't done. She also took a minute to slam the military for promoting the first ever female Coast Guard Commandant. Ingram thinks there's just no way a female officer could possibly rise into a senior leadership role because she's good at the job. No, this is more affirmative action from Joe Biden and the Democrats. I'm sure the veterans in Ingram's audience appreciated her smug mockery of military service. If attacking the Coast Guard sounds weird and desperate, that's because it is. Republicans know the midterm elections are approaching and they have no record to run on. In fact, the GOP has been on the wrong side of nearly every piece of popular legislation this year, from emergency action to end the baby formula shortage to passing and extending of the wildly popular child tax credit. And with no achievements to mention, Ingram is left with the only tool in her belt, distraction. When Fox News points its viewers' eyes in one direction, it's always useful to ask what they don't want the audience to see. In this case, Laura Ingram is hoping that Republican voters won't notice that their elected officials have been actively voting against their best interest for years, all while lining their pockets with corporate dark money in the process. Democrats have a political and a moral responsibility to cut through the Fox News smokescreen and tell Americans the real facts about the Biden economy. But with time ticking away until Americans vote this November, Democrats are running out of maneuvering room. It's time to push back. Whether Democrats will is a tougher question.